Oh, hi, Percussion. I didn't see you there. Um, hey, we're going to do Standard of Excellence Book 1, page 7, the entire thing. Here we go. So the first one, we've got Rest on 2. Everything else is played. Rest on 2 the entire time. Here we go. Let's see if we can keep track of how many times we do it. One, two, number eight. One, rest. Rest. Three, four, three. Rest. There's the fourth time. Three, four, fifth time. Sixth time. Seventh time. Bar eight, rest. Three, four. If you want to practice that again, repeat it and do the exact opposite hands. So I just did right, right, left. Go back and do it again and do left, left, right. That's the idea. So here's number nine. One. Okay, well, before we look at it, we're going to look at it and speed read it. Okay, we got note, rest, note, rest. Okay, so one, rest, three, rest. And then one, two, three, rest. One, rest, three, rest, one, two, three, rest. Okay, four bars, does it repeat exactly the same? One, rest, one, rest, one, two, three, yes. One, rest, one, rest, one, two, three, rest. It's exactly the same music two times in a row. Excellent. We love it when that happens. Here we go. So one, rest, one, rest, one, two, three, two, and one, two, ready, go. One, rest, rest, one, two, three, rest. Rest, rest, three, now we're in the halfway, halfway point, rest, 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 rest. Uh, anybody see what I did there? I switched it up to my left side halfway through just because I was bored. So you can do that if you get bored, switch to the other sticking. Keep it interesting for yourself. Here's 10. We'll talk about the accent right now. The accent just means if this is your normal volume, hit it harder. Okay, it just means hit that note a little bit louder. What that normally means is that everything else comes down a little bit. It actually doesn't mean play that note louder. It means play everything else a little quieter. Okay, so let's not get into the habit of thinking that every time I say an accent, I go, what am I? Right? That's not how an accent works. It's just a little bit of an accent. Check it out. Here's the difference. Here's no accent. I'm going to put an accent on the first one now. Check it out. Right? As opposed to this. Right? Isn't that super fun? Everybody do that a couple times. Just chop it as hard as you can, right? Okay, get it out of your system. That's not music. That's just fun. Let's try music, okay? Music is an accent. <laughs> okay, try chopping it. Okay, great. Now, never do that again. <laughs> All right, number 10. Two by two. We have an accent, and then we have two more quarter notes in a row. So one, two, three, rest. One, rest, three, rest. So we're looking out for that accent and our rests. One, two, number 10, go. Really show me a difference between the accented rest and the unaccented. One, two, three, four. Here's the seventh bar. Rest, rest, rest. Okay, really show me the difference between accented and unaccented. All right, now here we have to play with the dreaded half note. How do you play a half note? Somebody asked me, I think it was Atticus asked me, how do you play a half note on the drums? Well, you just do and you let the audience decide how long it was. Now, you really can't tell how long a half note is, but if a composer is um, wacky enough to write a half note for a percussionist, it usually should be on an instrument that sustains, like a cymbal, or a chime, or a triangle, or a bell, or even a marimba bar, or anything else that, that has a note length to it. But a snare drum doesn't have much note length, so we can't really play a half note on a, on a snare drum. We can actually, if you ask me how to play a half note on a snare drum next time, I'll show you how, okay? 
Here we go. But for now, we're just going to hit the thing and count the extra beat. Here we go, number 11. Make sure you have a metronome, some kind of metronome to help you practice. Don't just practice in the wind. Um, you have to have a machine or something to show you where the time is. All right, here we go. Number 11. Watch out for accents and watch out for those half notes. Don't go ahead too fast. Listen to Mr. Metronome to make sure you don't gobble up the beat four of those half notes, okay? It's called half the price. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, rest, rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, rest. Rest. One, two, half note, four. One, two, half rest, four. One, two, half note, four. One, two, half note, four. Easy cheesy, right? All right, let's move right on because the next one is basically the same kind of deal. More accents, more half notes. Let's not let those half notes fool us, okay? Here we go. Listening for the for an accent to be louder and the other notes to be softer. And how do we do that? We don't just make the accent louder, we just make everything else softer. Haha, <laughs> tricks, right? Here we go. One, two, number 12. One, two, three, four. 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 You guys see the trick that I used? What trick did I use? I just used my right hand to play all the accents. I was like, okay, my right hand's gonna be the accent one this time. So my right hand just did accents the whole time. And my left hand just did little notes, little notes the entire time. Cool? All right, so number 12, pretty easy. You just gotta keep a hold of those accents and keep counting. Don't let that that half note uh, fool you. It takes up two counts, beats three and four, right? A half note is the same as quarter note, quarter rest. All right, going on. Here's number 13 is a duet. So bass drums on the bottom, snare drums on top. Okay, everybody's gonna play each part. So you're gonna learn both parts. I'm gonna start with part A. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Rest, rest, four. rest, two, three, rest, 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 one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, rest, four. One, two, rest, rest. Not too bad, right? Okay, here's the bass drum part. Considerably easier, but now we've got, okay, what happens when you see a bunch of repeated notes over and over again? Then the dreaded beast of counting malaise takes over and he says, oh, what number was I on? Oh, w wait, what number were we on? Uh oh, don't let him take over. Concentrate. One, two, ready, B. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, rest, rest, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, Two, three, four, eight, two, rest, rest. Take that, take that, beast of malaise. Okay, um, so you really have to, when you see those repetitions, don't be afraid to take out your pencil and write on your part. This is the first time I do it. This is the second time, this is the third time. This is why you have a book that's your own book with your name on it so you can write in it, take a pencil that you have at rehearsal that you most definitely have in your bag at rehearsal, right? And uh, write in the number of counts, write in the number of notes, write in the rests, write in anything you need to help you read the music. Nobody else has to look at your music, it's just you, right? So write anything you need to help you. It's absolutely okay, it's not cheating. Here we go, number 14, go for excellence. And we're done with this page. You guys have done a great job, stick with me. Here we go, 14. So one, two, ready, 14. 
rest, three, four, one, rest, three, four, one, rest, three, four, one, two, rest, rest, one, rest, three, four, one, rest, three, four, one, rest, three, rest, one, two, three. All right, everybody wants to get to those last three accents. What do you think we're going to do with those last three accents? Speed up or slow down? Hint, the answer has always been speed up to these questions.